Hey everybody, it's Mark from Circle of the Dark Mother. Today we're going to do Ladder of Lights Rung 6 with Lila 2. So before we get started, as I've said in the other videos um, with the Ladder of Lights, there are a number of these. There'll be eight in total. So I am putting the first couple slides the same so that if somebody comes in the middle, they know what, what's going on. They're not confused. So if you've already watched one, you can skip ahead to the actual um, rung that we're on. The Ladder of Lights. Ancient Mesopotamian culture was very aware of the night sky and the heavenly bodies that inhabited it. They were skilled astronomers and astrologers. One of their primary practices that merged astronomy and astrology with their spirituality was called the Ladder of Lights, which was eight spheres, or rungs, Earth, Moon, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. The Ladder of Lights was later adopted by the Jewish people, probably during their Babylonian exile, by combining it with their Merkava mysticism or throne chariot mysticism to produce what we now call Kabbalah. The spheres in the Ladder of Lights are aspects of deity and a bridge to heightened consciousness. Lilitu. Lilitu is a goddess in ancient Sumeria or Mesopotamia, which is Sumer, Akkad, Assyria, and later Babylon. She is associated with wind or air, night, and sexuality. Lilitu is both a goddess and a demon. Now, understand the demon is just the English word that was chosen um, when they translated this. They are not demons in the sense of Christianity. They are not followers of some great evil. They are basically deities or spirits that don't follow the godly rule. Um, and there were many that didn't. So gods and goddesses are descended from the primordial pair of deities. Demons are any god, goddess, or spirit who doesn't follow the rules. So Lilith is both. The name Lilithu appears in the Sumerian Assyrian god list. Um, this god list only lists entities considered gods or goddesses. It's written in cuneiform on tablets, and it has the Sumerian and the Assyrian name of the deity. Lilithu is listed as Dimigi, which means deity of the night in Sumerian, and Lilithu, which means she who comes by air in Assyrian. There are also several deities that appear later than Sumer who can be associated with Lilith and her attribute. Now, we don't know if they're um, aspects of her or they're separate deities, but they are definitely similar. Rung six, Mars. The color is red. The incense plant is tobacco or cactus. The focus is protection and releasing what does not serve. Stones, black tourmaline and obsidian. Alternate aspect, Labasu. Example method is oils. Optimum timing is Tuesday. The Mesopotamian month or Sabbat is Tedabaka around 8-1. And the chakra is the third eye. Labasu, whose Sumerian name is Dimi-A or Dimi-A, whose Akkadian name is Labasu. Her name means she who comes at night. Labasu, not to be confused with the very, very dark um, goddess demon in Mesopotamia named Almash II. Labasu is a separate entity. She is listed in the Sumerian god list as the goddess demon Dimi-A or Dimi-A. Her name translates to she who comes at night. Semitic texts mention Labasu in passages that also mention Lilithu as demons that came from Babylon. Since the god list was written during the Assyrian period, much later than the Sumerian religion, Labasu may also be an aspect of Lilith, although she may be a separate entity with very similar attributes. Oils. Oils were used extensively in Mesopotamia for magic and for everyday use. With an ancient culture, the lines between spirituality and day-to-day -day living often blurred, making some uses dual in nature. Oils can be used for anointing in lamps for light and fire, as an addition to a candle or witch's bottle and much more. Before using an oil, make sure that you are not allergic to it by doing a sample skin test on your forearm, forearm or hand. Do not apply to your head or face until you know you won't react to it. You can make your own oil or buy them on the internet or from a met metaphysical shop. Oils are usually made with ingredients for a specific intention, such as healing, protection, etc. A very powerful practice during a ceremony is to apply the oil to your forehead and the back of your hands, asking Lilithu or Labasu to bless you with protection or whatever you're seeking. Tabaka. 
The pagan holiday of Lamas is at the end of summer, the final harvest, and the return of darkness. And this is during the Mesopotamian month of Tabaka. Lama Lamas is a holiday celebrated in some English-speaking countries in the Northern Hemisphere, usually between August 1st and September 1st. It is a festival to mark the annual wheat harvest and is the first harvest festival of the year. The focus of this festival from a Gnostic Kabbalah point of view is the binding from action of that which does not serve and the har harvesting of the husks of darkness. Hopefully that was helpful and there'll be a couple more of these rung videos.